Hello, my name is Kyle. Welcome to me counting down my 40 favorite films since the time I was born. You can go to the first video here in the series to understand why and how I made this list. We've come to number 39. This is the newest film that we will find on the list, Drive My Car, and it sucker punched me the very first time I watched this. I saw this on New Year's Eve, in fact, of 2021. I adore this movie from the from the very very beginning it's it's long don't get me wrong this is a three hour journey i really really do encourage people that if you're gonna watch this don't read up anything about it i think it's so much more wonderful to be consistently surprised and not knowing what is going to be coming up there's these revelations that continually happen throughout the movie where it's like this thing has happened and you think you now know the full story and then something else happens and it's like oh no okay there was even more to this story and then even more to this story it combines a lot of my favorite themes or, or, or things that are investigated theater sadness language there's english in it there's sign language there's korean there's japanese as this guy is creating this theater piece combining all of those languages together while also commenting on how hard it is to communicate with people, not just because of language and cultural barriers, but just emotional barriers that have been put up. Plus, it is absolutely baller the fact that the title to this movie does not come up until an hour in. I love that shit. There's an older guy versus a younger guy. You think it's because they're romantic rivals, but then there's even something deeper. I truly mean it. That there's some wonderful things that are revealed inside this movie. And it really made me kind of recontextualize not just how we communicate with one another, but how strong forgiveness can actually be. How hard of a choice that is to choose to forgive someone. I think it's a great movie and possibly my favorite that investigates the power of using your own voice, not just your speaking auditory voice, but the actual like authorial voice within your daily life, whether you can actually speak or not. Have you seen it? Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on this movie were, maybe other favorites from this director or the actors that are involved. But I'll see you tomorrow for number 38.